In this tutorial, we'll take a look at making fountain effects with the particle system. So it's a little bit overlooked, but it's so easy to implement, it's almost ridiculous. But the particle system could be really cool. In fact, all of my old 2.37a tornado animations were rendered using the particle system, but it took a lot of tweaking, you know, between the types of halos and crosses and this and that, and eventually you can actually make it look right, so you're at least nice enough. But, but like even in this effect right here, since these things flow out with the lines, you know, kind of following their trajectory, it gives it a nice effect. Versus, so all this is really, there's two things that really set this apart from a traditional, you know, particle system is like, all right, let's kill it, let's just add one to it. Okay, here's your basic particle system you start with when you add it to a sphere. All right, so then you so you you push them out the face out the normal so perpendicular to the face like that and you go okay that's kind of cool oh, boring and then so but then the one thing you can do down here you come down here and these are the default settings but instead of a halo let's set it to the line which is what I'm doing and even that is like it just doesn't cut it. So the one thing that's really critical to a lot of particle systems that you'll see when they really look interesting is you gotta crank them up. I mean, cr let's, whoops, whoa, not that many. But you know, like maybe 20,000 in here like that. Because it's, you're running it over the course of 200 frames even though I have a lifetime of 50. So it's gotta accommodate for all those. Let's see what happens. And then suddenly it's pretty cool stuff. You know? <laughs> Yeah, it is. We'll just see. Oh, that's a very nice effect. Dig it, right? So you, maybe you use this as the basis for doing, you know, a firework display. And for those of you following my uh, Python tutorials, you'll know that, you know, since you have control in there as to you have better control where things go, you can see what can be done. This can be used for a variety of reasons. Maybe you're doing a welding job or something like that. And the computers are pretty fast these days. You know, and you can see nice, nice effects. And there's really nothing to it. So, all right, I just wanted to point that out because little things like that can be overlooked. And if you're new to Blender, you know, you might as well take advantage of the power that it has to offer because the programmers there just do just an unbelievably great job in providing a wonderful tool. Okay, well, that's for this video, and I'll see you in the next lesson.